Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Sam Livecast. I'm Sam. It's day two of uh, Pasta Week. We started with that uh, leftover spaghetti frittata. Spaghetti and eggs, baby. Oh boy, was it good. Right? Oh, it was the bomb. So good. It was good. It was really good. So today, we're making baby food. No, I'm only kidding. This is defrosted, frozen uh, uh, cooked squash. Comes just like this. Freezer section, one of these guys, right? Pretty damn convenient. It's very damn convenient. I mean, they, pro they make like canned pumpkin. Yeah. I don't know if they make canned squash. It's true, actually. I certainly didn't see it. I mean, I went looking for it. I, look, I could, you could buy squash, cut it open, get it out of its rind thing, cube it up, roast it or boil it, and then Mash puree it. it. Yeah. But the only ingredient in this. Is it squash? Cook squash, wow. nothing else. So I feel fine about doing so there's that. There's no like weird. There's no weird shit or anything. No. So here's what we've got. Here's what we're gonna put into it. We're gonna put some ricotta cheese in. This is 15 ounces. I've got approximately half left. Maybe, maybe a tiny bit more. So we'll call it 10 ounces. Ricotta. Hmm. I don't know if I need more than that. I like, we like ricotta. I well, know, I can't make it too crazy. Let's call it a cup of ricotta, shall we? Yeah. Now, this is boiling water. Uh, I haven't said I'm, what I'm making. I'm making ravioli. Mm. But I'm using um, uh, these wonton uh, wrappers, wonton skins. Nice. To do it. I'm not making my own pasta. But I want some spinach in this. So this is about half. This is what? This is uh, a couple ounces of spinach. So I've got boiling water here. All I'm gonna do is drop this in. Boom, boom, boom. And then in very little time, it's gonna be wilted and it's gonna be ready to take out. Dry, look out, lucky, 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 look out, look out, look out, look out. I've got this. I'll need this. Let me just start mixing this. So the ricotta is going to go in, and this is going to obviously have to be mixed really well. Nice. It does so badly look like baby food. What the hell? I've only got a little bit of yeah. this left. I might as well use it, right? We were just talking in the break about how much we all love pasta. Oh. I and wish like it was better for us. Food. It's almost, I like it too much. You know, it's, it's dangerous. Well, the thing to know though is. It's so good though. Right, but a little bit of pasta. You know, like when I've been to an Italian restaurant, sorry, this is almost ready. When I've been to an Italian restaurant and have had like a, a little starter course of pasta, just like a little bit, you know, just a few ravioli on a plate like we'll do today, right? Uh, it's enough for me. So I want, the, I want the liquid out of this. And the only way to do it is to get a spoon that's behind you. How are you always where I want to go? <laughs> <laughs> always. Because I slide into the spaces that you're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. And you're sort of frenetic, so you go back and forth. So I'm gonna keep this going. Like it's got a little bit of the, the spinach uh, coloring to it. But this is what we're gonna use. I can turn it down a bit. That's what we're gonna use to cook the raviolis in, right? Mm. So now I'll just get this here. I don't want this liquid at all. And now if it's, if it's cool enough, oh, which it's not. See this liquid coming out? I mean, spinach has got a lot of liquid in it to start with. But now to start adding this yeah, extra it absorbs. This is not gonna help. You gotta be careful when you're like sauteing spinach because oh, it shit. can get so oh, soggy shit, and oily. Shit. Oh. You okay there, bro? Oh god, it's really hot, man. Oh. Okay, so now this just gets chopped up. It's so tiny. <laughs> it's so tiny. For all <laughs> what of that, the right? Hell? Let me get rid of this stuff. Yeah, look at that little baby. 
Now, you don't want these pieces. These were leaves, right? So this is now leaves that have to be... Diced? Yeah. I could probably have put more spinach if I had more spinach, but it was like a last minute, as most of my shit is. We like to use what we have. It was very last minute. Okay, so this will go in here. Oh, this map actually might be okay, you know? I think it's a good amount, yeah. And then don't forget, it's gonna spread out, right? I'm gonna do this. Okay, what haven't we done to this yet, Maxi boy? See, see. Sorry. Wrong He's guy. that oh my kid. God. He's the kid. We were talking about that <laughs> before we started to shoot. Lynn doesn't get called on because I'm he knows the answers I'm to these things. Knows everything, apparently. I'm trying to get Max. He's the know all kid. <laughs> uh, we okay. haven't seasoned it. Lynn was right. We haven't seasoned it. Correct. Yet. And you want to see? You got to season the filling. Yes. Because well, that's the only part. That you I did not. You're right. Not, yeah. You need to because you can't fill anything. You can't season anything else. Okay. So a nice amount of salt. Whatever, I'll just be quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're fine. Pepper. Two other things. Excuse me, sweet boy. A uh, little, little, a little bit of cayenne. And you know what? Come up to me for a second. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not putting cayenne in or the red pepper flakes to make things super hot and spicy. I'm just putting them in to add another little element of another layer of flavor. That's why. I know you see me use this a lot. That's it. I like spicy-ish food, but there's certain things I don't want to be spicy. There are certain things that I want to have lots of flavor, and that is going to be this. Okay. The only other thing I'm going to add, we've got salt, we've got pepper, we've got a little cayenne in this thing, is a little of this Parmesan cheese. Quarter cup. There we go. Sorry. Okay. Here's what I want to do. How's our time, Lynn? Seven or eight minutes. Okay. Here's what I want to do. I want to show you what a couple of these look like once I get going. I, can, I will continue them through the break, but I just want you to see what the plan is for these. The plan is to be able to separate them. By the way, this pack was completely frozen you can, wontons uh, freeze really nicely. And these were completely frozen in my freezer, obviously, a few hours ago. About one o'clock, it's now five o'clock. So let them defrost for four hours, a whole pack like that. Well, if there was like the five best things you can keep in your freezer, I feel like wonton wrappers would be one of those things. Would be great ones, Think right? Think about all the things that we, you can do with them. Think about all the things we've done with them. So I want like a teaspoon of these. Let's be exact, shall we? Let's put a teaspoon of this stuff in. Forget that. Oh. Forget that. No, I was going to say, yeah, let's do this because watch, I forgot what I was doing. We'll put like a slightly rounded teaspoon. Okay, like this. Oh, I'm sensing I'm going to really like these. Oh, me too. And then we're just gonna do a really simple little brown butter with them. Damn, that's so awesome. I was like, I know, I've had so much good uh, butternut squash type pasta with brown butter sauce. Right. Well, it's just such easy and simple and okay. So a little water here. We'll go to this guy. We're gonna go all the way around. Just give him a little water. And then we're just gonna pick them up. In your hand, you're gonna fold over. And you're gonna seal, trying to keep the air out. Air is not really your friend here. And that's it. That's really all that you need to do to these things. You could make them fancier, you could take them and you could turn them into little crescent kinds of things, but that's not really my bag. You could use a little Asian press to give them that crimped edge. It's not Italian, but it's kind of cool looking, if that's something that you want to do. But that's it. Wow. Now look it, could I put more in? Uh, of course. 
but, but then we're going to run into problems of overflow. That's exactly right. You risk, you risk them breaking or swelling out the sides and you don't really want to do that. Okay, let's do this. Take a quick break. We're going to come back. They're going to go in the pot for like two minutes. So look at how fast this is. Stop buying prepared stuff. Start making your own. Damn it. Take a break. Sorry, I'm all upset now. Come back. We're going to cook these things. You're going to see how good they are. Go away. But, but come back. What could possess a man to let a perfectly good steak go up in smoke? How's yours coming? It still needs more time. Mine too. Mine too. All right, there they are. All nicely hand folded. You can see the spinach, or as Lynn calls it, the spinach inside with the ricotta. So now it's simple. Come on over here, Maxi boy. Now it's a matter of giving them a, like a two minute boil sesh. Is it really it, two minutes? Yeah, so maybe two and a half. Really like when they float. Yeah, that's when you know they're done, right? They're gonna be done. You just wanna, Hey, I just noticed something. Just be gentle with them because, hold on a sec, Lynn. Okay. You want to be gentle with them because you don't want to bust them by, by stirring. I'm not going to do any more than this. Would you just notice? Was there supposed to be an egg in the filling? No. No? No. I was wondering. Usually there's egg in one, like a ravioli filling. I didn't know. Go on. Go on with your bad self. Hey, so check this out. Just asking. <laughs> Which, by the way, camera up. By the way, Lynn, the time to ask me about the egg and the filling would have been when I was dealing with the fucking filling, not when I'm putting them in the goddamn water. <laughs> Master chef. It's funnier this way. <laughs> yes. And I it's funnier this way. All right, so here's what this is going on about. This pan is now going to get some butter in it. So when those guys are done and they're starting to be done, the butter is going to come in here and melt and adds beautifulness and flavor. But I want kind of a nice little amount of it. Wow, they're already rising to the top. Yeah. No, they're not there. Okay. Brown butter. So they're not getting very much after this. Let's just get a little, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little bowl. I like this little bowl. Salt they're gonna need. Where's my salt? And what is, they've got like a piece of thread or something that he, I keep like, it's like a phantom thread that's just bugging the hell out of me. Where's my salt? It's right here. More? Yes. You want the butter to get brown not because you're burning it, because it's getting that color from starting to, the solids are doing their thing and beautiful, we beautiful baby. We got some floaters, as they say. Japanese fishing net or Chinese ja fishing Chinese net? fishing net. Pretty hot pan, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh oh, hello. Hello, last guy. Oh, no, there's one more guy. Hello. But he's open. He busted? He busted. We busted one. He's not long for this world. <laughs> Beautiful. These guys won't separate.
Damn, they look good. Mm -hmm. And smell good. Uh oh. Hello, baby. You want just a little color on them? All right, so this is almost dead. Little salt right here. Oh, that you smell. It's this nutty flavor that you smell uh, when you have um, the brown butter thing going on. And let's just take these guys. We'll gently take them out. Don't bust on me. Mm. Smells quite delicious in here. That caramelized butter smell. Oh, it's tremendous, isn't it? It's the best. That's it. Don't need anything else. You can have other things, but I wouldn't. We just try one just by itself. One whole one. One whole one. How hot do you think that's going to be? Nuclear. No, no. I don't think it'll be bad at all. Huh. <laughs> huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lynn was right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Here's my fall down. There was no steam. <laughs> it's all the inside. Because it was all in the inside. Yeah. Wow, that's really good though. <laughs> so, cut it open. Let it live a little bit and then... Mm, I got... Mm, a super crunchy little edge on this thing that's really nice. The filling is really nice. I think what I would do is I would make the filling, stick it in the fridge for a half hour, 45 minutes, then take it out. It would just sort of be a little more substantial in the thing. Mm. I mean, we could have done that, but that's not the style of the show. The style of the show, though, is to do that. I eat really good things. Mm. The ricotta in there is really nice. And I'm not tasting spice. Just a beautiful little flavor. Okay, that's it for us. Thanks for hanging out. Friday's another day on, uh, what is it, a pasta week. Wow, I really like that. Absolutely do the spinach. Absolutely. You have to. You promise me you'll do the spinach? The color's really beautiful. You could use basil if you wanted to use basil. I do think spinach is less expensive, bulkier, bigger, easier to use, that mm. kind of stuff. All right, thanks for hanging out. I uh, appreciate you guys being here. Don't eat the same food all the time. We'll see you Friday for the rest of Pasta Week.